Last summer, TxDOT awarded Capital Metro a $50 million grant to upgrade the Metro Rail. The money will add tracks along the red line, plus add some much-needed parking spaces at park and ride stations. Traffic reporter Amanda Dugan has all the details. Take a look at how packed the parking lot is here at the Lake Line Park and Ride Station. The national average for a station like this is between 70 and 80 percent full. The Lake Line Station has been over 100 percent full since 2013. That's why Cap Metro is putting more than a million dollars into upgrading the Lake Line Station. That money will add parking spaces. Now there are 485 spaces. They'll expand that to nearly 1,000. One of the reasons this station becomes so overwhelmed is because the Leander station is unavailable on the weekends. Many go to Lakeline as an alternate. And it isn't just parking Cap Metro is addressing. They're also adding four more trains. The extra trains are going to allow us to add capacity to the line uh, so we can carry more people. And it's actually going to allow us to increase the frequency of our trains, which are right now running at about 30 minutes, every 30 minutes uh, during peak hours. We're going to be able to increase that frequency to every 15 minutes. Officials plan on expanding the Howard, Great Hills, and Oak Hill park and ride stations. Designed for the Lake Line expansion will happen this year with construction getting underway in 2016. In Northwest Austin, Amanda Dugan, KXAN News. The parking expansion at the Lake Line Station comes after a growth in Metro Rail ridership. Back in 2010, Metro Rail averaged 18,000 trips per month. By the last fiscal year, the average more than tripled, topping 65,000 trips per month.